Hey guys, I've been checking the internet for underwater camcorder housings. However, I really haven't found anything for under $300, $400. So I was thinking I was just going to show you guys how to make something like this that will work just perfectly for any type of camera or camcorder or flashlights inside. Um, yeah, here's how it's done. Alright, so these are the parts we're going to need for our project. Uh, basically, you can get everything at Ace Hardware, if that's where I got it. Um, let's just start here. Um, we're going to need two key ingredients. One-time ABS cement. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. It's a few bucks or something at Ace. Uh, then, yeah, just some household adhesive sealant. It's basically just silicone. This here is the one that's used on fish tanks. So just make sure that this will glue all kinds of plastics and rubbers. So then we'll need basically just a um, piece of ABS pipe that will fit your camcorder. Um, it's actually the one that we're using right there that's going to go inside here. And uh, yeah, it fits perfectly. Just make sure it's a good size. Then uh, get a fitting size uh, of this part right here. Basically, you see there's a rim here exactly in the middle maybe. I don't know if you can see this line. Yeah, it's just in the middle there. So basically you can stick this inside there and that stops in the middle there. All right, then you'll need this part right here. Um, it's threaded in the middle and it can fit on the other side of this pipe right there. The final part is just a screw on lid basically for the threaded part on the inside of this piece and that'll be where you can access the camera and uh, just put things inside. All right. Then uh, of course for the lens that we're going to make in the front we're going to need just a piece of plexiglass. Uh, yeah, just get it anywhere, it doesn't really matter. It's fairly cheap. Uh, this is just an old piece that I found somewhere. Just, yeah, see what you can find. Make sure there aren't too many scratches in it because you'll want good images underwater. All right, yeah, that's pretty much all it. All right, now use some kind of a pen or a Sharpie or something like that to uh, mark the area on the plexiglass that you need to cut out. Uh, I'm just going to be using a knife right now, so let's go. As you can see now, we have a clear area here that we're just going to use you know, some kind of a saw, whatever you have. Uh, yeah, just cut that out and uh, I'll see you in the next step. Alright, so uh, here we have our sawed out piece of plexiglass. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's pretty complete, nice and round. This will fit perfectly into this piece right here that has that edge in the middle. Basically what you're going to do then later is apply the glues that I'll tell you, put this in, and you go there, little lens, all nice, then you'll take this piece and put that over there so the lens is between that little ridge in here, I don't know if you can see it, but um, yeah, between that, this right here, and yeah, we'll have some sealants to make it totally waterproof. Alright, there you go. Here. Uh, as you see, we have the lens that we finished here a bit earlier. Uh, and this is yeah, basically the order that all the parts are going to go in this piece right over here. That's going to be the front where the camera is going to be looking at. The lens it will go in here. This will follow. Then uh, this piece will be stuck on there. And this is the lid that you can take on and off. So I'm just going to put this together real quick without glues for you just to you know, take a better look. We put the lens in here, a little bit tricky, but it just perfectly rests on there. We'll take this part, stick that in there. This part, right on there. As you see, there's a lens in there now. This will be completely waterproof in the front. And uh, yeah, then you have the camera that goes in there. There you go, lid on here. 
All right, the first step is going to be this piece right here. We're going to add the silicone on this rim down here. Give it a nice coating all the way around. All right. Make sure that none of the silicone gets stuck on the walls here. I got a little bit on there. Just make room for the ABS glue that's going to go on the side here now in a bit. But uh, yeah, then take this glass right here, guide it in nicely that uh, it goes on evenly. Take time for all these steps just so it turns out the best it can. Put it in right there. And then you know, just squeeze it down on that seal. Alright, we're going to let that dry now a little bit, and uh, then we'll add on the ABS cement. Alright guys, now we're going to take the ABS glue, we're going to put it on the inside here, and on the outside here. Then you stick it together, give it a half twist, and it's going to melt together as if it were one piece of pla plastic. Yeah. So, alright, we're just going to start. By the way, don't breathe this in, it's very toxic, always use this outside. It's really nasty stuff. Right, yeah, just give it a nice coating, not too thick, not too thin. And you want to watch out that you don't get this on the glass, because otherwise it's just gonna, yeah, you'll never get this stuff off again. All right, the inside kind of want to hurry with this step because this stuff does start drying fast. Make sure that the surfaces are clean. Don't want to have any dirt stuck on it. That'll mess up your project. Right, once this has a good coating, Take this, set it on there, push it in all the way. Here we go. It is uh, basically done now. We have the lens here. Remember we put this piece on here with the ABS glue. The other half I put on exactly the same way. I put the glue on the inside and on the outside of this piece here. Um, and then, yeah, just stick it together, give it that little twist. Uh, yeah, basically, this is where the camcorder will go in, or a light, whatever you want to put in it. You see the lens back there, lid right here, put this on, and this should be waterproof. Um, I'm going to go ahead and field test this for you guys tomorrow. So, today we tested our underwater housing, and we had a small amount of water leak in. However, it wasn't a problem at all because I just ran right back down to Ace and uh, they gave me this Teflon tape right here. Plumbers use it all the time to seal threads like this on PVC pipes or whatever. Um, basically all it is, it's a really thin putty-like tape. As you see here, it's, it's really soft. Yeah, all you do is you make sure that you just give it a nice tight fit around here. As you can see, it just fits on right on top of the thread. Um, yeah, wrap it all over the way around twice, and that'll give you a great seal. We tried it then again, and immediately we were able to go down basically the bottom to the lake, and um, yeah, there was no leaking at all. The water. Yeah, just completely stayed out. We got some great footage, and yeah, it's a success. It works. Just make sure you add a little seal around the thread there, and you'll be good to go. It works.